Hi everybody, I uh, just wanted to give a big old fuck YouTube right here. Uh, this video got uh, blocked for having uh, 40 seconds worth of music from the Beatles in the movie, the, um, what is this called, this fucking, uh, the Bronx Tale, this is the Bronx Tale, a scene from the Bronx Tale which has some Beatles music in the background and most of it's being talked over. There's only about four seconds of music that's not being talked over, but, uh, whoa, it looks like... Looks like I'm getting a call right now over my communicator from Mr. YouTube himself. I'm going to go tell him to go fuck off now. Uh, hope you enjoy the show, and hopefully this doesn't happen again. Bye. Give him his beers. Spoken like a true gentleman. Pass that beer over here. Give her the beer. Uh... It's Wednesday, my dudes. Seven twenty. What's seven? January, February, March, April. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July twentieth. <laughs> yes, Ned, Ned, you are correct. Wait till the end of the show, and then you can hear the rest of that clip. Episode 344, Nick the Rat Radio. Tonight, we have a, a extravaganza of, uh, okay, nothing really, okay? Look, Diane's been gone. She took vacation. It's summer. She's going away. You can't really expect, uh, these shows take a lot of effort, a lot of studying and reading, um, investigating, putting together, um, like, strings on a chalkboard. Fucking weird shit that they do back there. And the thing is, not all the episodes could be highly researched, just like the previous one, all right? So tonight we have nothing for you. There's going to be a complete episode of Jack and either shit or me off, either one of those two. But either way, it's going to be fun, trust me, because we have a lot planned, because um, we do a, a lot of preparation, especially when... When we don't, you know what I mean? It makes sense if you think about it less. We will have a, a donation segment. That's about it. That's going to be the whole show. It's just, it's going to be me saying, give me money, give me money. Give, give. All right, no, it's not. Uh, we have uh, voicemails. You could leave one right now at 917-719-5923. Um, we've got uh, gas blasts. You could send me a gas blast at nick and nicktherat.com. You put gas blast in the title. And one day I'll fucking read it. Possibly even on air. How these things work. But, um... No, we'll also have, we're gonna have music as well. It's all CC by 3.0, and uh, but that's good. That means you could use it. You could listen to it. You could give it to other people. They could use it, and you could do whatever you want with it. Yeah, where is Utas? We have no time anymore. <laughs> Oh, I got a lot of good stories for you, too. A lot of crazy shit happened this week. Aliens raped me. Then I spilled weed oil all over the floor. Well, there was weed oil. But um, we're going to smoke some weed now and listen to some music. And then we're going we're gonna to come. We're going to come on your back when you're not looking and upload it to a Japanese uh, server for weird sharking, I think it's called. Is that called sharking? Or sharking when you uh, pants a lady's sh skirt. Sh I think that's... I think sharking's when you pull down a skirt in Japan. Or rip off... The, I guess it could be wherever. Uh, I, I don't know what it's called. Sharding? <laughs> 
There's probably some name. There's a name for everything. And those names change and they get different meanings and stuff. Either way, cheers to everybody. Uh, we're going to have a, a fun, old, good old time here. Water bear stare. Ducky, these are not water bears. We're actually going to be discussing what these uh, little dots are. If you're watching the video, this is a podcast, but there is a, a video version of this on uh, Twitch and YouTube and on the NSA's hard drives. But uh, this is a NASA tethering. I think it was the 725 STS. Yeah, there you go. STS uh, 75. And those little dots right there. That's just debris in life. That's some bullshit. Anyway, let's listen to um, uh, Run by Noah Geisler. We'll be right back with more Nick the Nick. No, we'll be right back with more Nick the... We'll be... Uh, that's all, folks. Welcome back, everybody, to Nick the Rat Radio. Um, <laughs> just to go over what I was just talking about, there's a uh, footage from NASA behind me. See, this is also uh, something else I want to talk about as well. There's a, uh, a channel called uh, Fr Franz Lab. I think it's Franz Lab. Franz, Franz Laboratory. Um, she, her channel was dinged recently because she has, she has like an original fucking canister of film from 
think it's one of the, one of the spaceships landing. Uh, one of those little pods falling to the to the earth. It's funny that she was able to buy it. I guess. I wonder how much that cost. I don't know the whole story behind it, but either way, she showed it on uh, YouTube, and somebody called copyright claim on it for having similar imagery in it, even though NASA footage is 100% uh, copyright free, and she also owns the original copy of it. But I don't want to talk about YouTube or social media because all that stuff is fucking lame anyway. But um, either way, that's why I'm showing this this foot. This is NASA footage of uh, a tether. I don't, and it's supposed to be like a tether to something. But I don't. I just see a. It looks like a straw floating in a cup of fucking dirt. Now people people say that th these little circles flying around this big straw, which is supposed to be like a satellite tether. I don't know exactly what we're looking at here. But either way, there's a video of like a of a stick in space, and there's a bunch of fucking little dots floating around. It looks like look like it looks like orbs in front of your um, in front of your camera lens. It's probably little specks of dirt getting hit with tons of radiation from the sun, uh, and it, it people are like oh those are UFOs, but they all there's like fucking hundreds of them floating around. In an unintelligent way. There's no way that there's, it's, they're just floating, they, 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 like this one right here, this one floating right there, that guy right there. If that was an alien, I'd sue him for being slow and stupid because he's just going in one single direction. They're not, they're not making educated moves. They're going like, ast it looks like asteroids. They came asteroids on in the arcade. Um, and people, people were saying that they're like, Dropa stones or some stuff. I didn't really look into the Dropa stone thing, but uh, apparently there's like fucking subway tokens from a long time ago on on Earth, like twenty seven of them. Don't know. I don't. I don't know much about these Dropa stones. I don't know about the space stick shit either. This right here, but I do know a lot. I know a lot about a lot of stuff here. Now what I do know is, I. I I don't like fake eyelashes. I think I think that's really a, a very big bothersome thing for me. And I think fake nails go with that too. But yeah, I guess you know, I guess fake nails and fake eyelashes are some are are some of the most annoying things that I know that exist. Those that I'm gonna I'm gonna come out and say it. I think they should stop selling these. I think they should ban them. I think there should be uh, statewide bans on eyelashes and fingernails. It's it's morbid. It's against God. <laughs> and I don't like them. Like, what do you... Why do you need... Why do you need to make your eye... eye uh, uh, your, your, they just... just uh, I don't know. There's something about um, giant fake claws. Um... Like, do they have, do they have, um, why not, why not, uh, well, like, it's, it kind of reminds me of like, it kind of reminds me of like hands and eyes remind me of like feet and toes and stuff. Like, like, what if there was little packages of hair that you could glue onto your toes or, um, a toenail fucking extension? I'm sure there might actually be, uh, glue on toenails, but no, I don't think I've ever heard of those. I just find it very strange. I don't like it. Tar uh, toe Merkin? Yes, Ram Dass, a toe Merkin. There, there's glue on toenails. Yeah, but glue on toenails are not as popular as glue on uh, regular nails, I'm sure. It seems so... It's it's almost like sticking... It's like sticking socks in your, in your pants. Like cod pieces. Like... Maybe maybe we're living in a time where, uh, like, back when cod pieces were a thing, women didn't have fake eyelashes and fake nails. And then one day the fake eyelashes and nails came out and the cod pieces went away. Can we bring cod pieces back? Or does cod pieces get you deemed pedophile right away? Like, oh, he's walking around with his cod piece out. 
probably not a good idea. It's probably not a good idea. All right? Cod pieces, probably not a very good idea. Okay? Um, I, for some reason, that, that, that upset me. And then I was looking into um, the creation of eyelash, uh, fake eyelashes. And I came across a whole story, um, completely false story. So says Snopes. All hail Snopes. Uh, the The story on um, the story of the first fake eyelashes were uh, they were called cumbrellas from a prostitute in the 1800s. That was said to be the originator of them. She created these cumbrellas to put above her eyes to keep the jizz out of her uh, uh, oral orifices. Oral? Uh, uh, what is it when it's ocular orifices? And uh, apparently Snopes went out of their way to make an article saying that this was not true. <coughs> but um, cumbrellas will live on in uh, my brain forever from now on. You would look weird with the chicken hanging out of your butt. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to play another song. We're going to thank some people. They're going to open the phone lines. We're going to talk about cumbrellas. No, we're, I don't know. We could talk about aliens. We could talk about uh, your day. We could talk about spirits, ghosts. Uh, I try to avoid political and religious talk because... It's like fighting over Pokemon. Like, oh, which Pokemon do you like the best? I guess if you want to talk about your favorite fucking Pokemon, give me a call to 917-719-5923. But let's um, listen to Agoraphobia by Nourished by Nourished by Music. We'll be right back. Thanks, some people. And we'll continue on with the show. <laughs> Pikachu is pretty good. Catholic Pikachu.
down, down. No, oh, there was a couple of notes off in that song that was just driving me crazy. Driving me up a wall. Overall, not a horrible song, but uh, make sure your keyboard's on uh, key or something. I don't know. Yeah, it did need a little bit more bass, too. Uh, it was almost there. It was almost there. Most of the songs we play are all the way there. That was just an almost there song. It, it made my ears stand up. Okay, look. Uh, we have a P.O. Box. 90549 Brooklyn, New York 11209 Find it on the webpage Click social Don't know why it's under donate It's under social I guess because I don't consider P.O. Box as, as donation But they are donation I should probably put that under there as well But this week there was zero objects in the P.O. Box I went there expecting um, 42 cent checks from my doctor a net. Ah, ow. Let's look at the donation sent into the donation hole. Uh, NickTheRat.com, donate. I think it's all through PayPal. You don't have to donate. If you donate, you don't get anything except your initials read and your note and your donation amount. If you'd like me to expand on that, then um, um, uh, give me some ideas. I don't know, but that's what I do. It works for me. It works for me. All right, let's see here. Uh, but, 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 whoa, this is an, did I miss this donation? I was just scrolling down through the list and this one I might've missed. I don't know. From July 14th, which would have been the previous week. Either way, uh, J.A. with 420. $20, you should at least get a DRMA. Yeah, you can probably get $20 there. Uh, J.A., thank you so much for the 420 we have M A J A then M A with 420 thank you M A what the hell was that? That was weird. Um, let's uh, thank some more people here. We have LCI with 420. Thank you so much, LCI. You have been a uh, great patronage type of Patreon patriator for a long time. It is 420 somewhere. I should smoke some more. Let me... Oh, man, I got a weed story to tell you guys. Let me check and see if this is still... This is almost kicked. I gotta repack this. Um, not gonna tell the weed story now. I'm gonna start to repack this though. Uh, th that is all the donations that I received uh, this week. And finally, wait, I have to thank people on Twitch as well. Let's, let's go to Twitch and see if anybody, because you, if you could do it on Twitch too as well. Um, don't know, let's see, seven days ago. I'm going to thank people from seven days ago because I don't know about 14 days ago, but seven could have been after my last thanking. Trey from Philly resubbed for one month. They've been subbed for six months. Thank you so much for those Bezos bucks. Ducky on has the, um, he's, he's the king of the sewer. He's the rat king with 37 months of resubbing with prime. Thank you so much, Ducky for, uh, for those Bezos bucks. Uh, boogeyman radio. Give me a follow, uh, Trapper shot 27. Give me a follow. Uh, and they also sub with prime trapper. I shot trapper. I shot 27 or is it T T rapper Riz Riz hot T rapper. His Riz hot 27. Either way. Thank you so much for uh, that. And Trey from Philly just resubbed for another month. They've been sub for seven months. They're trying to catch up to Dougie. And will, will they give it? <sighs> Just want to say thank you to everybody that has donated. Uh, the thing is, though, that that is a pitiful, pitiful amount of uh, donations, and because of that, we're gonna have to play uh, corporate sponsored media. I know that um, 
No Agenda prides himself on not having commercials and people. You listen to podcasts. As soon as you start the podcast up, the first 20 minutes is a fucking commercial. I don't know how people... I guess you just skip it. You you understand. You know the... You know where to skip to in a podcast. And those are skippable, skippable ads. No agenda ads are harder to skip, actually. But they're much more interesting to listen to. I'd rather listen to donations any day of the week over fucking some bullshit service that the, just some giant, giant corporate bullshit service that probably is worse for you than not it's like hey do you you're do you even really use what you're promoting like do you really use it or are you just promoting it because they gave you large sums of money that is what i do i promote because they gave me large sums of money let's listen to some commercials we'll be right back looking for a good time Come on down to the sewer. Our sewer slots are waiting 427 to please you. Dark sewer dominatrix are always ready to tie you up and take your money. Let's get dirty in the sewer tonight. Call for reservations. 917-719-5923. This program will now reprogram you. You will throw all of your money into the sewer. You will cleanse yourself of all of your monetary possessions. You will accept Nick the Rat into your heart. You will let him lead you. You will no longer have free will and only do as he says. You cannot break free of this spell. Even with those blasted Bible spells. You will obey. You will obey. You will obey. Go see Revenge of the Ninja this weekend.
That was a good track right there. I liked it. Did you like it? That was Wave Rift version Dose by Tato. Thank you, Tato, for creating that music. All the music, you, uh, if you like it, it's all on uh, SoundCloud. Uh, my likes uh, slash Nick the Rat. You can find it through my website as well, nicktherat.com. Go there. I should revamp my website, but fuck that. The scientists here are way too goddamn lazy. If you'd like to give a call in, the phone lines are... I think they're wide open right now. Diane, are the phone lines open? They're not working? Diane, can you pack my stuff and get me the fuck out of here? Oh, they are working. Okay, it is working. Hello? 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 Hello. Slender. Slender Man? Where the, uh. Where the stuff was. If I, if I ever revamped it, it would be, uh, such a slight revamp. It would be, uh, I'd probably put some big, fat, fake. Uh, umbrellas on it. Hello, Nick. Yo, hi. hi. You hear me? I hear you. Is everything okay? Cool. No, everything is not okay. Fucking last time you hung up on me, I yeah. got abducted by fucking UFOs. <laughs> did you see? Did you see them? Barely. A little bit. What did they look like? They like. Trippy. And what should, did what did know. they taste Fucking, like? Did you lick them? I didn't. I would, but not those ones. Maybe like some chicks from Star Wars. But fucking. Uh, anyways, okay. I'm I'm calling fucking to uh. I wish I was stoned right now because I'd be like so so chill. But um. You gotta oh, relax. I, I have nothing. I know. You gotta relax. That's true. I'm sick of feet. <sighs> Shit. So what's up? What's on your mind, cowboy? Shit. Okay, this I'm building like a um a device. You've heard of TDCS, like transcranial. Transcranial. I've heard of uh, a CVS, the store. What's... They have drugs too. They do, but, but transcranial, that's when you like put a hole in your head so you could you could put the drugs directly into no, your brain? No, that's um that's something else. It's like trepanation, but the the TDCS is like electricity and it's supposed to boost like brain activity. Um so I was gonna oh, fucking electroshock mail you shock therapy. It's like somewhat yeah, but it's like it's less shocking, but kind of like I don't know, it's like small volts. Um, the military uses it. it makes but yeah, they're soldiers. pretty cheap to make, and they work really good. So you put it on, and then Trent Reznor went on to sell a million records. A million records? What was that Did, last bit? I think Trent Reznor used it. Electromagnetism, and you put oh. it on your head. Um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that sounds like it. Does it vibrate? Um, this one, no. I mean, some of them, like the advanced ones, but it's just electricity mostly. Some of it will like pulse the, like a magnetic wave. But um, yeah, I'm just like I'm working on one of those because it's. I was thinking if people could make one, it's hella cheap because it's free. It's just electricity to recharge it, and it's like guaranteed to improve people's brain function. And the military and DARPA uses it. Do you and want, they build like top notch shit. Do you want do you want a really good tip right here? I'm about to hmm. make you I'm about to make you rich color. Sounds promiscuous. I'm about to make you What's rich color. Here you go. So when you make this Fucking like dirty bastard. I'm filthy as a fuck, and I'm gonna make you rich. All right, I want you to take the uh the inputs on this this device and attach them to like a bike. So you have to pedal, and the faster you pedal, the more electricity it pumps into your brain. So you get the leg exercise as you get the brain exercise. So you're getting you charging the battery, you're getting the flow. Cause 
That'd be cool. That would be. That reminds me, dude, your dirty jokes. That reminds me of the chicks who put the dildos on the bike seat. That, that, I don't see that anyway, being very comfortable. That could work, though. That could work. Because, like, what you're saying, generating, like, energy from... Yeah, you bike. It's like generating self-energy. I guess you could slap a dildo on there, too. But... Maybe. If it's, like, if it's like an adult area, yeah. Uh, you but could... I wouldn't. I don't know. Get, uh, take the, the, uh, oh man, a color. We're going to make a lot of money. We can. We, yeah. And even, I hate money. I'm broke right now, but I've been like just building a lot of stuff. Um, cause money when people, suck, like one thing I love about you is you make jokes like anywhere you go. And that's one area I want to like practice. Cause if you can make jokes, people love that, you know, yeah, but that's better than money. No, it's not because the people that steal and rob from people, when they bump into somebody that makes jokes, they steal and rob from them. I'd rather be big and strong. True. And not care about anything. Just like, duh, I could punch your bullet. You know, dude. And kill you. Being, I don't know, being big and strong, I don't know. It, healthy, it could work. Being I was going to say, like, healthy. ball sunning is like, is how people stay based. Like, I don't know. What the fuck am I saying? I wish I like, could do parkour. Like being big and strong. There's ways to be big and strong without it. You know? I'd rather do parkour than be funny. Oh, fuck that. You don't mean that. No, I Dude. do. Okay, you owe <laughs> me a joke for giving me a abducted. <laughs> oh, shit. You owe me a joke for giving me a abducted. Yeah, but how did I get you abducted, though? But when you clicked on me, Caller? <laughs> Sorry? Sorry, caller. I uh, hope you make a lot of money from that idea, though. That's It's going to be a good one. Um, electroshock bike therapy. Sounds good. They probably put those in, like, a Tesla, too. They probably hook it up into a car. Yeah. Was that TJ? Who was that? TJ? Does I probably I'd probably piss off to Junta to, to know that I was calling him TJ. Um what what time is it? Where where are uh we're gonna listen to a quick musical interlude right here. Uh yeah, I'd also like to be a good musician like this person too. You know, parkour first, then maybe a good musician, like uh, Meat Computer. Listen to this song. It's called Somebody's Baby.
welcome back to uh, Diane. What show is this? Nick the Rat Radio. I thought we were doing Thighs of Steel. I guess I could put this in there. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. I'm getting tired. Ugh. Welcome back, everybody, to Nick the Rat Radio. The, uh, the topic of the night is, I don't fucking know. The, the computers took over. Everything is uh, algorithms now. Al algorithms. It's, it's a computer takeover of society. Uh, we, we call it AI. We, they started it off by saying, oh, it's just smart computers. It's AI. No, it's scripted. It's scripted lies. It's a scripted fantasy. That's what it is. They're trying to change reality, real intelligence, into a scripted fantasy. And they're doing it. Instead of making computers smart, they're making people stupid. It's like instead of having a computer that thinks, which would be intelligence, they're making people that are uh, the slaves to chains of numbers that are just made up to fantasy. Computers are creating a jail... A fantastical jail for us. Statistics, man. People found statistics. Statistics probably uh, was before AI. There's a whole bunch of uh, math kept evolving into something uh, bigger and more evil. I think statistics was uh, a precursor to AI. And then AI and algorithms kind of the fucking took it all over. Uh, what, was, what was before that? Just databases? There was databases, the statistics, math, computers. There's a whole bunch of little basic words that have become our enslaver. That's where we are now. The big old world of cuckoo, your number, do this multiple choice answer. When did the Board of Education come around? Board... Board of, I'm Board of Education. Is that where that sprung from? Board of Education. The BOE? Oh, Department. It's a DOE. Department of Education. Is that only for New York City or is that because uh, Safe Search is located dead of education? Department. Depart Department of Education. Wikipedia? Can I look up Department of Education? Is Department of Education only a New York City thing? United States Department of Education started in 1867. How big was America in 1867? 1867 map of America. I guess it was kind of big. I don't even know what I'm looking at here. Because all maps, they kind of look the same for a couple millions of years, right? Not too much. Caller, are you there? Yeah. That was a good one. That was a that was an okay one. I'd give it a, I'd give it a six, seven. A 6.7. It's it's only ginger ale. I can do better with beer. You could just swallow air. Hmm. Yeah, but they don't sound natural that way. Well, yeah. You get a deep guttural thing from uh, a finely carbonated beverage like seltzer water does it really good. <clears throat> is burping burping is not natural? No, it's not. It's um. I think it's a way to expel gas, yeah. You expel like gas. Farting. But you could kind of make yourself expel gas. You could kind of force it out. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to shit your pants. So Sometimes you might want to shit your pants. <laughs> Depends. Shitting your pants could be very useful. 
in a lot of situations. Depends. I just thought of about 10. All right, you're in prison. You're in a prison, and somebody's coming to do something to you. I just made up like 20 stories right there. You, If you could shit on command into your hand, you have a weapon that'll defend yourself from most <laughs> attackers. That, well, like, that's well. Oh, uh, motherfucker just shit primitive. in his hand. Run. <laughs> Is it the most primitive of uh, weapons? I think so. The, the uh, shit stick. It was uh, the primate variety. Pretty. It's pretty. It's a pretty useful weapon. Yeah, they're. So, I don't know. Do all monkeys sling poo? That's kind of an interesting question. Sling poo. I think. Uh, yeah, probably. What monkey doesn't? I don't know. I, I, that's what I'm wondering. I, you know, maybe those little like spider monkeys and shit don't because they've got like rabbit poop or something. Caller, know. have you ever hucked a turd? Mm. No, no, never. You're not. You're not. You're never not hucked. living. You're not living life. Yeah, I don't. It'd be fun to do it. You know, maybe out of a high light. Uh, whatever they call that. Is that a shuttlecock? The Is only that way that? that I could see myself <laughs> hucking a poo would be if I could instantly wash myself right after. If it was a rainstorm. Maybe if there's a rainstorm I would uh and I was trapped in it, I'd be tempted to crap in my hand and fling it because I could just rinse it off in the rainstorm. If it was always raining, then that could probably be an Olympic event. Well, the Olympics are run by gigantic countries. They could probably make their own rain. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at Ch- China put a... Uh, that would be a good Olympic event. A winter, <laughs> winter scape in, in uh, the Winter Olympics in a nuclear dystopian. It couldn't be a wet poo. It would, have to, it would have to be a nice solid poo so the athlete would have to digest a lot of fiber. Would it be a fibrous poo? Not mm. too big, not too small. You're talking about for distance. Well, yeah, for distance. How... Yeah, you're going to want to have that poop that maintains its uh, viscosity over long distances. Do you think women and men could compete competitively in poo flinging? And uh, I, I meant mm. to probably still throw it further. It's still... That's interesting. No, Maybe there's a genetic difference between our poo that we don't know about, but it only the comes female out poo when is more people throw it. It's, uh... I don't think girls even poo. They don't fart. So. <laughs> Everybody poops unless you're an android. Everybody does poop. Wait a second. Why don't they use that for, like, racist material? They always show, like, the skeleton. Like, oh, we're all fucking skeletons. Why don't they just show a turd and be like, guess guess what race, gender, uh, and age that poop came from? <laughs> and just have, like, a big pile of shit there. And be like, guess what? Well, maybe, maybe it's guess different. It. That's why they don't want to do that. Because <laughs> people will be like, they'll be poop inspectors, and they'll be like, Oh, I know that person is. A that poo is definitely eight. Jewish. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the four foot eight lady of what is the one? Oh, Ashken Ashkenazi. What is it? I can't remember now. Ashkenazi Jew. A shitty Nazi. No. Nah. <laughs> That's a different Jew altogether. <laughs> The Jew poop. <laughs> Just like Christian crap. Christian crab. <laughs> Baptist bowel movement. Oh, man. <laughs> Methodist mud pies. Methodist yeah. mud pie. 
Ooh. Uh, there's got to be a lot more of those weird combinations. Let's see here. Uh, t- a Turkish turd? Or is that, no, that's, mm. uh, that's, I don't think Turkish Turk is, turd. I don't that think Turk like, is a religion, though. Sounds like something that you smoke, though, kind of. <laughs> huh? You pass the Turkish turd, <laughs> what, are you, what are you smoking there? They got a Turkish turd. Roll it up, bro. Uh, what are some other religions? We gotta insult every religion now. You can't just insult one religion <laughs> and, and stop. Religions. All right, is it a list of religions? <laughs> well, I already used up M, so we can't really say anything. Oh, about a, ta- a Taoist turd. There we go. And a Shinto a turd? and a Shinto shit. <laughs> and a Confucius crap. Here we go. I'm going through all of them. Uh, a Dharmic doo doo. A, bo- <laughs> a, bo- a Buddhist boo boo. I don't know. What would a, bo- a bee for a shit? Uh, Buddhist boo boo. <laughs> no, I like the Buddhist boo boo. That's perfect. We need one for H. Uh, huh. What's a, what's a word for shit with H? I'm thinking like horse crap. A Hinduism horse poop. Well, uh, you could say a well that one's I. A Hindu, uh, a Hindu poo poo. In, Chal- <laughs> in Chaldean and Arabic, I believe hara is uh, crap or shit. Oh, there we go. A Hindu hara, and um... Hindu hara. <laughs> what the fuck is Jainism? Never heard of that one before. Jain- it's a, huh? It's a religion. Also known as Jain Dharma. It's an Indian religion. Whoa, there's a swastika in there. Uh oh. It's not it's not tilted though. Oh, Presbyterian pebbles. Pebbles. That's a... Presbyterian pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> From Ramdos and uh and, a, and I like Twitch. that one. That's a good one. That's <laughs> it's a pee pee. <laughs> uh, there's so many religions here. I was only going. Are through you on the, a list of the, all religions? Like ever? Well, I'm on Wikipedia, so it keeps going. There's well, well there's like yeah, Greek, what, Greek Orthodox. Oh. No. Does it give you a total number of how many religions there are? No, uh, I'm still scrolling. I mean, the list probably is growing, but. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. I'm not going to be able to do this list. This is going to take me no, like five no, that's years. I'm just saying, I, no, I don't want you to count them. I just thought maybe they'd have like a running total of... Oh, gee. No, I keep scrolling, yeah, though. I started I, this many. Universe people poo-poo? What is universe people? That's a religion? Universe, <laughs> universe people or cosmic people of light powers from the, from the Czech people. Wait, it's a Slovak from UFO religion? It's a Slovak UFO religion founded in 1990s. Their belief system is based upon the existence of extra, extra uh, ETs. What? Really? There's a UFO religion huh. called the Universe People? I'm in. Oh, wait. Following the mass suicide of the members of Cult of Heaven's Gate in 1997, the Universe People attracted the attention of Czech media groups with similar ideology and potential to commit similar acts. Wow, it was a Heaven's Gate fucking break it, off. It was? It was actually it was, it actually was that or they just because of the name they're like, "Oh yeah, you're the same people." Well, I'm just reading the Wikipedia. It, who knows what the okay. fuck is going on? Yeah, yeah. oh is... yeah. No, no. All the people in the religion would be like, no, we just read the Bible. Yeah, we what? don't like we don't like Kool Aid, smoky Kool Aid, <laughs> green, smelly, smoky Kool Aid. Oh yeah, Uh-oh. we miss midnight in the sewer. Oh, by forty something seconds or so, or two minutes, yeah. perhaps. Mm-hmm. Midnight in the sewer to you. Oh, are you drinking a icy beverage? Uh, Cosmic it's, um, caca? Bourbon, bourbon ginger ale and uh, a splash of lime. Nice. Oh, man, I got a, I got a blender recently. 
You can make some cool smoothies with that shit. And throw some you get one in. of those like serious like break up everything on earth blenders or I don't know. I don't, I, I tried sticking my dick in it, but I can't hit the bottom, so it doesn't work. Ah. <laughs> Ah. And my dick is pretty much everything I know in the universe. So, <laughs> uh, blend tech. No, it was. I got. It's not the ninja. It's a. Uh, it's some. It's a Nutra bullet. I bought a Nutra bullet. Oh yeah. yeah. It's got yeah. like cups for blenders. So you put the cup on the blender, and you don't have to pour the blender into a cup. What was something Darren Owen was talking about? Like sticking a whole uh, lime or uh, lemon. Sticking whole lemons in a blender and just blending the whole damn thing. He blends l- lemons. Yeah, I is think he part of the Sir lemon Gene party? Told him, "What's that? He part of the lemon party?" <laughs> I, I don't know. That's yeah. He said it tastes fine. It doesn't taste uh, bad at all. Well, it's the lemonade. I probably want to move that little like lemons usually got that little like pit on the one end, and then there's there is a lot of seeds in lemons. I like to put <laughs> but bananas, uh, some uh, cocoa powder, and some blueberries and almond milk, and then mm. liquor of any type. Like <laughs> liquor too, really? Oh yeah, you put some liquor in that shit. Woof. A vodka flavorless or something? Whiskey. With a I like whiskey in there. I would say a, a good old. Oh, nice. A good old whiskey up into that. And, woo. You got yourself a, <laughs> a boozy smoothie. Like a Cadillac cocktail. A Cadillac cocktail. <clears throat> oh, I just realized you have. How big is that damn can? That's not just a twenty-two, is it? It's a well. I'm only about four inches tall. This thing's like eighty-five. <laughs> I, mean, I, I guess this would make the can even smaller. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is how it really looks. Oh, no, it's a, it's a twenty-four, but I got two of them. <laughs> I've been working on. Oh, okay. So I got 40 ounces of Coors Banquet. Have you had the Modelo uh, Chilada with the uh, Ugh, yeah, lime and it. salt? So yeah, I, it's, it's good, but it's a little bit on the extreme salty side. Yeah, the, you never want a mixed drink in a can. Yeah, they, yeah, that's, a, that's the safe safe bet. Just mix it yourself. Make a fuck. Get some uh, bananas, some berries, and a Nutribullet, and some almond milk, and some whiskey, and uh, and forget that you had anything to do that day. You could probably do. Do you like like orange, like citrus? You could probably do the same thing. You could probably stick a whole fucking lemon in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, apparently it comes out delicious, and I don't know. Or fucking lemons nutritious? They're always just in cocktails. Well, lemons are good. I like lemons. And tea. You don't like I lemons, the, I don't. Oh, I like lemons. I, I don't know what the benefit of eating Acid. lemons would be. I do. Limes are good too, you know. They're greener cousin. Um, grapefruit is the citrus that a lot of people don't like. You know, yeah, I'm not a big grapefruit fan. It's too it's too mm-hmm. acidic. But also lemons are it's pretty acidic too. But it's a different type. That's of why acidic. people like throw a shit ton of sugar over the top of uh, grapefruit when they eat it. You know. I've never tried that. Oh yeah, it's it's nice with a little bit of sugar on it. I I like to bite. just eat avocados, like raw without anything. Yeah, why not? If they're uh, at a good ripe age, and just eat that. They mm. really t- 
taste like. I think they are. I usually like to have something with them. Like put a little bit of salt on there, or, I guess, but. I'm not. I don't understand why people like avocado toast so much because I don't like to do two together at all. That's too much work. I like I like bread. Big bread fan. Just regular bread? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I love bread. I'm. I, oh, okay. I, you know, wait, wait, wait. Carbs. I think I just like carbs. Oh yeah, we all like carbs. I like drinking Ooh. them. I like eating them. I like balling them up and sticking them <laughs> up my ass. Fucking carbs. Woohoo! That's what. Well, you're still skinny though. I I eat too many carbs. I drink too many carbs. There's a reason the camera cuts off before my waist. All my weight goes right into my dick. <laughs> oh my god, do you have a badon? Oh, it's no, like a, a I'm like badon- elephant, badon- elephant rat. You have a badonka dick. The more carbs I eat, it just keeps getting bigger. Good. See- that's a that's a gift from God. God of bread, God of the God of the grain. <laughs> I just made a I made pasta tonight with uh, the semolina flour and water. Mm. Wait, no, like homemade pasta you're going for there, bud. Yeah. It was I, I let it sit yeah. for three days. I made it nice and hard. Uh you do do a machine or do uh, or do you have a manual? Uh, I'm, I manually do the, the dough, but I do have a machine to flatten and roll and cut. I'm not gonna oh, sit there okay. with a knife and cut that shit. Well, with a crank or just a, uh, you know, you can uh, fucking the know. pasta cutter and the roller. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I've done uh, that before. It, it was weird because the the spaghetti size I, is it. It's got a spaghetti size and like a, a linguine size, you know, a little thicker, thick noodle. And the thin one, I mm-hmm. tried to put the semolina flour through uh, on the thinner one. It, it was curling up. It wasn't working. I had to go through the linguine sized one. Where was the semolina from? Um, you know? fucking Bob's Mill Hole. I don't know. No, 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 no. Because like, uh, semolina, I believe, originated over in Europe, and then uh, they imported it to here. Well, yeah, it's Durham. And actually, the, the it's Durham. Yeah, wheat. Durham. Yeah, Durham Round semolina down. is the best semolina that you can get. It works really good for pasta. You just need water, and it makes a really nice dough. Oh yeah, you know. Doesn't take too much work, you know. Egg, no oil, and uh, dries oh, yeah. really hard, and fucking makes good, good pasta. My mom's got a old wooden, like uh, it's like a rib vagina. Bed. It's got well, not, yeah, she's got one of those too. Probably, it's probably a wood. It's back in the day when George Washington had those wooden yeah. teeth and whatnot. But um, anyway, she's got this wooden board that has a border on it so when you're mixing like uh doughs together stuff doesn't fly out of there and that's uh she's always made like uh pastas and stuff in there <laughs> pasta Love i don't know who will get that if she goes away the thing well the, the, the board itself <laughs> is like you should call her Think, call her right after we hang up and tell her that you want on the will uh that board that board <laughs> be like mom ah, mom give me a call at one in the morning i don't well i don't I, I don't care who gets it but it's like over 100 years old i think it was it was like hanging down <laughs> you should go on uh what is that the 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 the, the, the pawn, pawn shop and bring that on the pawn shop to, i got this board this big wooden board here. <laughs> how much I have You're a board expert. Two pieces. In. I have two chairs that were from when my parents were married back in like the sixties or seventies. And then I saw them on a television show and they were selling them for like four hundred and fifty dollars a piece. And you're thinking, is it worth it for me to try to fucking sell these and restore and sell? Nah, fuck that. I don't, well, no, no. They look like they look better than the ones that they were selling for. Ooh, you should sell those. Yeah, no. That's I was like, oh my god, those are in my basement, like pushed away in the corner. 
<laughs> I take giant Christian craps in those things. <laughs> <laughs> it's Christian caca pile. Christian. <laughs> They're much more proper, those Christians. Caller? Did you just, just finish your drink? Did you just finish? Yeah. Yeah, and I need to refill. Now your chance with Afternoon Garden by Perrytoon. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Please listen to this important message. Okay. This is a final attempt to reach you regarding the new 2022 student loan forgiveness program. Final? The forbearance period expires soon and payments will begin. If you would like to enroll in a student loan forgiveness program, press 1. If you would like to be... Your call is being transferred with no wait time. Call three. Thank you for calling the New York Student Loan Forgiveness Hotline. If you are a New York resident with a student loan over $8,000, press zero. If you would like to boot. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance. Hi, this is Robert. I will be happy to assist you. Hi, on Robert. Your student loans. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. It's a really lovely day outside. Beg your pardon? 
He said it's a it's a very nice day outside. Very happy. What the fuck? Why, you did say something, didn't you? Are you doing that on purpose? Or can't you make up your mind? That's the trouble. I can't make up my mind. I haven't got a brain. Only straw. How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know. But some people without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? I would bench. Ah, you did it again. <laughs> I Never hate mind. you. No, no, you stop me. Do it. What? Barbacoa is typically made <laughs> out of It's about the taco meat, too. You are the worst. The worst in the universe. <laughs> you don't want to know no, the whole story. No, 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 no. I don't want to know about your taco meat. ...in the world, better than anything in mathematical chaos theory, or you can consider it an allegory of mathematical chaos theory. They were having a party on Olympus, and they didn't invite Eris because she was known as the goddess of chaos, confusion, discord, bureaucracy, and international relations. Those are the five different stages of chaos. Uh, you see, you start out with simple chaos, and then people start arguing about how to organize it, which leads to confusion. Then they start battling each other, which creates discord. Then they form a bureaucracy to control the chaos, and then they start interfering with other countries, which makes for international relations. Those are the five heights of uh, chaos. This is the law of fives, which is why the Pentagon, which is always messing with other people's politics, it's interna represents international relations of the highest form of chaos, and it's a five-sided building. Uh, we, we call the Joint Chiefs of Staff the Knights of the Five-Sided Castle, or the Order of Quixote. They, they are all sacred Discordian saints because they've done more to make the world chaotic in the last 50 years than all the other forces put together. Anyway, the um, uh, not being invited to the party, Eris made him an apple of uh, beautiful gold, some say metallic gold, the greatest ore to be found in Cyprus. Others claim uh, it was Macapoco gold, but, but be that as it may, she threw the she wrote on the apple Callisti, which is Greek for to the prettiest one, and threw it into the party. And immediately, three of the goddesses claimed it: Hera, Aphrodite, and Athena. Hermes claimed it too. You know about Hermes. But anyway, uh, the, the, led to such a spat that Zeus appointed a mortal named Paris and let, let him choose who was the prettiest one. And uh, they all try to bribe him. Hera offered him uh, wealth. Athena offered him wisdom. And Aphrodite, who understood men better than either of those, uh, offered him Helen, the wife of Menelaus. Uh, he grabbed Helen and took off for Troy. Menelaus got royally pissed off, and that was the beginning of international relations. He got all the other Greek princes together. They formed an army, and they attacked Troy. And we've been involved in chaos, discord, confusion, bureaucracy, and international relations ever since. We'll tell, I want to, I'd love to live in London for a couple of years. And because New York is just such a mess. I mean, I tell people, I go to other countries and you come back and New York is the filthiest city in the world. Yeah. But no one is motivating people in the city to be civic minded. No one's saying to them, we live here. Let's do things for the people. And the people who live here, this is their home. They come last. The people who reside in New York come last. And that always irks me. Because other cities I go to, I'm like, they have, I was in Rome shooting a film. and like, the place is gleaming. It's clean. And there's bathrooms, too. This is the hardest city to pee in. That's why if I get, when I get old, I want to live in Tokyo. You've never seen, every subway station has a sparkling clean bathroom. And every, there's a 7-Eleven on every block or a, a lost My courtroom thing. scenario. And every one of them has a sparkling bathroom. And they invite you to use it. You don't even have to buy anything. So when your bladder runs out, you know, wears out, that's where you need to go, to Japan. Want to stop world hunger? Stop sending them food. Don't send these people another bite, folks. You want to send them something? You want to help? Send them U-Hauls. Send them U-Hauls, some luggage, and send them a guy out there that goes, hey, 
you know, we've been driving out here every day with your food for like the last, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And we were driving out here a day across the desert, and it occurred to us there wouldn't be world hunger if you people would live where the food is! <laughs> This is sand. Yeah. It's sand. You know it's going to be 100 years from now, huh? It's going to be sand! You live in a fucking desert! Get your kids, get your shit, we'll make one trip! We'll take you to where the food is! We have deserts in America, we just don't live in them, asshole! <laughs> Hello? Hello. Please listen to this important message from okay. the Financial Hardship Loan Center. You qualify for a $36,000 financial hardship loan. Ooh. This loan can be used for any purpose, including any purpose. paying off debt or unexpected bills. Hardship. This applies for all residents. Residents. Bad credit is accepted. Bad credit. Please press 9 to decline this offer. No. Or to be removed from this list. I want... Or please press 1 to be connected <sighs> to the next agent. Give me that Your agent. Your call is being transferred with no wait time. Calls recorded for... Hello. Our records Hello. indicate that you were contacted by the Financial Hardship Loan Center yes. located in New York. Yes. We are trying to reach you regarding a $36,000 financial hardship loan that can <laughs> be used for any purpose. Sweet. This applies to all New York residents. If you would like to continue your application, press zero. If you would like to be removed from our list... 3600 press... huh? Hello. Hi. Thank you for calling the New York Financial Hardship Loan Center. Hi. In order to continue, you must have at least $10,000 of debt. 10000 I got like 20000 bills or personal loans. If you would like to be removed from this list, press 9. If you would like to apply for a financial hardship loan, press 0. Yeah, one, two, three, enrollment center. Are you calling for financial help? Uh, yeah, I heard I could get a uh, thirty-six hundred dollars in in help. Yeah, I... so we're gonna see what options are out there for you by having you enrolled into that hardship program that you're talking about, so you can become lendable and debt free. So, do you owe seven thousand dollars in like credit cards, collection accounts? I got. Loans? I'm about thirty k in the hole. From uh, college stuff. And how much of that is credit card debt? Uh, I would say about half That's of it. Be I've been sp- I've been spending. Uh, I've been paying my college off with my credit card. So how much do you own credit card debt at the moment? Uh, about fifteen thousand. And are you making payments on that fifteen thousand, or are you behind? Uh well, I've been spending that money on other stuff, and uh, I'm pretty behind right now. And what's your monthly income that's coming in? <laughs> um, I get about maybe you know, like twenty dollars a week in donations on my uh, YouTube channel. I don't think this is gonna work out for me. Hello, hello. Something more, Mister Data. Yes, sir. I thought you might want to know why I was willing to risk your life for several small machines. I think I understand the predicament you were in. It could not have been an easy choice. No, sir, it was not. When my own status as a living being was in question, you fought to protect my rights. And for that, I will always be grateful. The Exocomps had no such advocate. If I had not acted on their behalf, they would have been destroyed. I could not allow that to happen, sir. Of course you couldn't. It was the most human decision you've ever made. Let me tell you something. I bet I get better deep. Chicago deep dish pizza sucks <laughs> dick. <laughs> Welcome back but to they... Difficult for No Reason with but... Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
shit. I, I'm not falling for the banana in the tailpipe. I had it. I ordered it when I was there. I ordered a whole uh, deep dish, and yep. I ordered the other one they're proud of, which is thin crust. Mm-hmm. First of all, they cut them in squares. That's the first thing. I put my balls in. The second thing <laughs> is a deep dish pizza is cheese on the bottom. Yeah, I'm and then the, that. the cr- it's like eating a fucking uh, a rim. It's <laughs> hard. It's not delicious. Dr- New York pizza, and I'm not from New York, is the best yes. pizza I've ever had. I don't think anyone is going to argue that point. I but do. Chicago wants to own the they deep dish pizza. They want pizza. Hey, they have it, Chicago. They want but I'm not going to say you fucking. Texas doesn't have the best barbecue ever had. I went to Texas. Can I have some of that Texas brisket? Oh, shit. I thought I cut a piece of my own ass off and didn't cook it. I ate a raw piece of my own ass. And and it's just like, and they look at you with this, how's that, huh, partner? And you can't go, it eats balls because they want it. They want, they want brisket. You can fucking have it, Texas, but you don't have the best fucking damn brisket. Really, did you wrap it up and marinate it and dry rub it? It stunk. Jeez, <laughs> don't like anything. But they want it. Yes, they do want Nothing. to be the barbecue state. The only Nothing. place that owns something that is actually, I'm going to, is... And I, I ordered clam chowder anywhere I fucking go. Ah, okay. New England clam chowder. Boston has, there's a place called uh, fucking uh, 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 Kelly's Roast Beef in, in like Revere. It's the best clam chowder you, oh. you can have. Thank you. Um, so, you know, I think abortion is, um, I th- Here's what I think. Here's what I, this is what I think. Here's what I think. I, I think you should not get an abortion unless you need one. In which case, in which case, you better get one. I mean, seriously. If you need an abortion, you better get one. Don't fuck around. And hurry. That's not not getting an abortion that you need is like not taking a shit. That's how bad that is. It's like not taking a shit. That's what I think. I think abortion is exactly like taking a shit. I think it is 100 percent the exact same thing as taking a shit. Or it isn't. It isn't. It's either taking a shit. Or it's killing a baby. (laughs) It's only one of those two things. It's no other things. So if you didn't like hearing that it's like taking a shit, you think it's killing a baby. That's the only other one you get to have. Which means you should be holding a sign in front of the place. People hate abortion protesters. They're so shrill and awful. They think babies are being murdered. What are they supposed to be like? I don't know. It's not cool. I don't want to be a dick about it, though. I don't want to ruin their day as they murder several babies all the time. I don't think it's killing a baby. I don't. I mean, it's it's a little bit... It's a little bit killing a baby. It's a little bit... It's 100% killing a baby. It is, it's totally killing a whole baby. But I think that women should be allowed to kill babies. That's what I think. They should be allowed to kill babies. Yeah. <laughs> we kill babies! Do some shots and kill some babies.
When we spoke earlier, you mentioned that this look is not a political statement. Is that right? That's right, Mary. I'm not political. I'm just trying to make people laugh. And how's that going for you? <laughs> Thank God for it, because we have entered into the final countdown for the apocalypse. If we don't find our spiritual center and set a course out of the storm of history created by science run amok, then we will have no world to leave for our grandchildren. Are you going to feed me the question or do you want me to? Okay. I think the advocacy of e-use uh, in Ebenezer Good is uh, a classic example of uh, shamanic mercurial trickery. The shaman is not an unambiguous figure. The shaman is not leading people into a realm of unmitigated happiness. Rather, shamans lead people into realms of risk and opportunity. And that needs to be understood. They are tricksters, and the band has very brilliantly exemplified that. A trickster is someone who uh, is doing you good in ways that you may never even suspect, but you cannot treat a shaman the way you treat a guru or a teacher, because a shaman uses humor, paradox, contradiction, uh, special effects, to lead you to confront the unexpected. So I, I think the shaman, the band, should certainly be complimented on the way they've handled their uh, message and their persona. Um, can we reconcile that at all with, you know, before? From the credit card department of Visa, Master, Discover, and Amex. Great news. We've got you approved to completely remove your debt on any credit card you got due to the economy crisis. This is a limited time offer to get enrolled. Please press 1 now and speak to a live representative. Okay. Please hold while you are being transferred. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line and you'll be transferred to the next available agent. Hello, thank you so much for holding for services. How are you doing today? Oh, well, I'm, I'm doing a little bit better now because th this is great. Sorry? I got a lot of I got a lot of debt. Yeah, I see that you got a lot of debt on your credit card. Yeah, but the thing is, Alexa, uh, the lady that transferred me to you, she said that uh, this you guys could help with debt that was incurred because of the 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 economy that's going on. Due to the pandemic, this program was initiated for senior citizens, disabled person, and for those who are making their payments on time on the credit card. Oh, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna. Your... I don't know if I'm gonna meet those requirements. I basically, I'm in debt because I spent a lot of money on mayonnaise and strippers. Sorry. I I spent my money unwisely on mayonnaise and strippers. I did. It's not because I'm old or because of the economy. I actually oh. have a lot. Well, I, if I thought it was a killer drug, I wouldn't. If I thought ecstasy was a killer drug, I certainly wouldn't uh, place the advocacy of it in the category of trickster. I don't think it's a killer drug. I think it's a crude synthetic drug that used several times should probably then logically inspire people to look deeper. I see it as simply a first step toward a much richer and safer family of uh, drugs represented by these plants. You see, if you take a plant 
that has been used by human beings for thousands of years, then you have your medical research data. You have your human exposure sample. If it's been taken for thousands of years by uh, men, women, and children, as the mushroom has in central Mexico, then we know that it doesn't cause tumors or blindness or infertility. With drugs which come out of the laboratory, uh, even pure, we don't know the long-term effects. And then, in practical terms, you have to add that underground chemists often are not as competent as they might be or not as careful as they should be. And so you're getting uh, an inferior uh, cooking of a chemical which was questionable in its application in the first place. So I, I believe that uh, for deep work, for lasting work, it's the shamanically sanctioned traditional plant hallucinogens that uh, carry us into really deep water. On the other hand, certainly for centuries, all kinds of chemicals have been used to grease the flow of social interaction and to party down, basically. And I have no quarrel with that, but that's an entirely different issue than the deep use of these things for shamanic and spiritual purposes. Cover me, Red Tin.
Once again, the dark sewer scientists figured it out. They combined two of the greatest things in history and created one new thing. And the new thing is better by at least four or five times the other two things. It's a uh, exponential, it's huge. They figured why not turn your dosing time into a dessert time. Recently, our scientist came across some of the most potent LSD build medication ever seen by man. This, they, whoa, they gave me some before, before I had to do this announcement. And let me tell you, this, this new, this new formula is going to be saving lives. It's incredible. It also comes in a snow cone form. Oh man. So basically, it's, it's, oh, it's a medicated snow cone. It'll help you for, uh, if you're seeing devils in your head, you're gonna see elves. You're gonna see elves instead of devils, and you're gonna see colors like, whoa. You're gonna be really happy, you're gonna be seeing elves, and you're gonna be seeing colors, man. I'm serious, this is, uh, this is some of the best stuff I've ever even, oh man, if they ever offered me this again, I'd so grab some. Oh boy, these dark sewer scientists are figuring out the key that can unlock this, the, the meaning of life, I think. I would, I don't know how they're going to sell this stuff yet. I don't know if it's FDA approved, so I can't really say it's for sale. But they gave, whoa, they gave me some and now I'm feeling pretty good about eating your face. Dark sewer snow cone medication coming to a sewer near you. Order now. 917-719-5923 Nick, the rat. Well, I've, I, I've never listened to your podcast at all. Really? But I heard you once on... Another podcast? Which one? I guess. Anyway, you made a bunch of people come. Oh. And hey, I was impressed. Thank you. Uh, so could you please maybe call me back at seven seven eight five two three four five? Whoa, 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 whoa! I'll try to call you back though. Let's see here. How do I do this? Uh, yeah, that's. Can I call here? How do I call? Oh, here we go. Seven seven eight. Let's call this number. Uh, uh, it's very late. It's later than they called like five days ago. Let's call them back. Here we go. That was that was my mom. I'm calling them and see what happens. <laughs> it's only one in the morning. See their voicemail. Leave a message, please. I'll call you back. After leaving a message, you can hang up or press pound for more options. You missed the call from Nick the Rat. Well, I hope I didn't wake you up. I hope you're having nice dreams right now. Uh, what do you dream about? Do you dream about... Um, um, I... I have dreams about like weird office buildings and fucking, fucking weird shit. But anyway, bye. Six. Whoa, what? Wait, hey, stop. And What's that? My name is Bran, and that would be really awesome because I love rats. Oh. And uh, maybe I can make you come. Whoa. Cool. <laughs> you call. Cheers. Uh, nine one seven, 
Seven one. Uh. Ooh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hi. Call them. Hey, watch out. I don't know what you're talking about. They might be coming by. I don't know. Hey. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Watch out. What? They, um, they might know where you live. Fucking horrifying. Ooh. You could call this number up here and talk to me right now. 917-719-5923. I don't dox you. At least I don't think I do. You might dox yourself. You call and leave some number. That's just how it goes. Wow, it's almost midnight in the sewer in another time zone. It's uh, 50. Ten more minutes till midnight in the sewer somewhere. Give a call. No, it's like this person did. Thank you. Zhong Ling Guan Tong Zhi, Yo Yu Do Chi Lian Xi, May O Hui Ying, Ting Ting Su Yu Ben Guan Lian Xi, Liao Jie Xiang Ting, Ting An Jiu. Have them call me, Tejanta. Nick, all the music tonight fucking blows. <laughs> what happened to your rat ears? Somebody put rat poison in them? Is this shit sucks. What? Oh, you know what? Here, how about you try this one on for size, huh? All right, these rat ears, they be changing. Sometimes it's like whatever. You know, sometimes you have memories like a children, and it's then made into a song by Dimitri. That's that's funny isle. All right. <laughs> You're on the other line. It's what time is it? It's almost midnight and the sewers everywhere over here. All right, look. I'll call you back, but first, I got to play some I got to play some advertisements because A money and B bathroom. The ninja. 
born of a 400-year-old tradition, trained in the most exquisite subtleties of combat. The ninja must be as wise as he is all-powerful. For if ever a ninja gives himself over to the dark side of his heart, the destruction is terrifying and absolute. Revenge of the Ninja, starring martial arts master Sho Kosugi and his son Kane Kosugi, six-year-old world karate champion. When he came to America, he put aside his weapons. I will not follow the way of the ninja. But he could not put aside his destiny as a warrior. And now, destiny has come searching for him. Fuck you! One in the service of evil, one bound by honor and vengeance, must fight to the death. Because only a ninja can kill a ninja. Revenge of the Ninja, the great martial arts explosion of the 80s, comes to America with full force. Caller, can you turn down your radio? Jeez, that's so... Hello, hello, hello. Hi, 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 hello. Hello, caller. Hi. Wait, Did you? I, I called you. Did you share my number with, with all of the internet? You put your number on my voice? You, call? you... I, I honestly don't remember what I said. I was wasted. Uh, I try to cover up your number as much as possible as you... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, said, sure. Well, <laughs> does anybody in the chat know the, the phone number that I just called? Let's see if they know. Now it's gonna get doxed even more. Uh they're playing dumb. It's uh it's it was like uh nine one seven five nine two three. Right. It was hold on. One eight hundred nine one seven seven one nine five nine. Two, three. Yeah, that's my number. Um, you listen to Hog Story. Yeah. That sounds familiar. Do you know John or Carol? Or do you know both? The Hogs. Neither. You, Neither. Do, I just, I'm, I'm just here for Cotton Gin. Wait, wait, wait. You're a no agenda listener. You listen to. Yes. Yes. Do you know John or Adam? Uh, yes. I mean, I don't know them. Who who got you on but to... I, how did you get on to No Agenda? Uh, Cotton Gin. Cotton Gin. They were just yeah. like, listen to No Agenda, and, and then you were, you were hooked? Oh, yeah. Good work, right Cotton. Away. Cotton, Cotton Gin is yeah. a good person, though. Yeah, he deserves some karma. All right, who would win a fight, John or Adam? Oof. Oof. I'm going to go with Adam. Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. 
sorry. John's very. I don't. I don't want to pick. Tall. I don't want to pick favorites. John is just, tall. He's a big. I, I like his. I like his spunk. You know. <laughs> that came out wrong. I need more beer for this. Uh, call, wait, wait, wait! I have another question for you. Uh, now I'm interviewing. Okay. I'm interviewing you. Oh wow! I feel famous. Well, you hey. should, wait. Hold on one second. All right. Okay, go on. All right. Um, cotton gin. Yes. Is how you. I mean, how you I'm, got here? How did you meet cotton gin? Uh, well, uh, we go way back. Do you, is do you know cotton gin IRL or is? Or, uh, or is they be internet only? Soon, soon. So they be. This is getting very personal. Well, yeah, I told you I'm interviewing you. It's <laughs> starting to get hot in here. <sighs> Wait, so is Cotton Gin? <laughs> they have a. Uh, they have got any pictures on uh, on uh, the internet? There, Cotton Gin is Cotton Gin. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a. Uh, getting late <sighs> time's your bedtime mr the rat you met cotton gin in a um it's either one it's either one or two things here um because you, you <laughs> like you like the little mermaid in a very strange way or um you like the Lion King in a strange way. It's either one of those two, I think. That's that's how. I'm Whoa! Gonna... How did you know that? <laughs> it's both, actually. I can imagine. I I I could imagine it, and then I told you it. Damn! So you you implanted that in my head. Maybe maybe I did. That uh... didn't come from me. That was that was all you. Jeez, you're I, good. I squirted a seed through the internet. <laughs> Into your ears, which landed into my in cellular. Your brain. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting, isn't it? Is that that's, that's, no. that's pretty gross? I feel like I need a shower now. All right, call her. Do you have to go, or were you just feeling like that? I was asking you too personal a question. I could ask you unpersonal questions. Yeah, sure. Let's go for that. All right, here we go for an unpersonal. It question. would have been nice if uh, that was the option. <laughs> Okay, okay, anyway, go. What do you got? All right, here's an unpersonal question for you. All right. That's very, that's really hard. Uh, hold on one second here. That's Whoa. It. Oh my. I didn't even do anything. Yes, you did. You, uh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Here's an unpersonal question. <laughs> Do you use an electric tea kettle? Uh, like, um, I, uh, yes. You do? I do. Now, but, it, like, it doesn't, it doesn't make tea itself, like, it boils the water. Well, yeah, well, well, they call them tea kettles. Is that what, wait, is would that it be what an electric kettle? kettle? <laughs> would you have to call it a tea Oh wow! I just I well, up. I mean, like it—it's not just for tea. It could be for anything, it's right? An electric, an electric that requires kettle. an electric water boiler. A water boiler. Yeah, I have one. I have one of those. Oh, a kettle. It's just a kettle. An electric kettle. Isn't a kettle... an electric kettle? Kettle is a weird word. <laughs> kettle. Kettle is like. It's kind of like cuddle. Kind of is, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kettle. I'm gonna kettle this water until it <laughs> burns me. Why? Why are you? Why? Why are you getting burned by the water? You're not supposed to put it on your skin. Well, your lips are skin, right? Well, you're supposed to let it cool first. Well, I didn't. I didn't say. I mean, like, I, I don't know. I. I I shouldn't tell you how to I drink. I splash myself with the hot boiling water. water. As soon as I boil it, I, I wait <laughs> till it's unboiling, and that's when I splash it on my skin. Right. So, uh, do you use um, an electric kettle? Recently, I just got one. Uh, have you ever have you had a, had a par <laughs> paranormal experience? Have you ever seen a ghost? 
Yes. Holy shoot. Yeah, that's a long story. Can you, you, you can like you, make you it, like paranormal? Can you make what? it longer? Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a personal question. Yeah. What a legend by Skander. up on me there but if you if you have a, a story about ghost or aliens i really just need to get a beer really quick we love spooky stories down in the sewer oof but yeah thanks for turning the ac on jeez wait we do have a another we do be has voicemail here back you slut <laughs> What's what? back, you slut? Back, you slut. Are you trying to fend me off, caller? <laughs> ah, good night to Janta. Cheers. Wait, we're on our third, but then again, it is uh, it's midnight in the sewer in the next time zone now but i've been i've been drinking before this too today's wednesday my dudes i've been drinking some fucking box wine what's it called boda boda box it's like botox box of wine and i've been smoking that week wait hold on one second we're gonna open the phone lines if you want to call back you can call back anybody i'm just gonna start talking here phone lines are open um but I bought this. I was I was speaking about last week a uh, and color. You're about to hear a story. I'm going to tell you whoever this is. Uh, I'm going to talk to you. Hello, color. How are you? I am good. I have a story to tell you. I'm engaged and listening. <laughs> what gauge are you in? Uh, there's a, I was, I was speaking last week about an oil infuser, infuser for, for marijuana. 
like does it have to does it have to use that? And I didn't know the name of it. Uh, you don't have to use marijuana. It's a, it's a, it's an it's an oil. Inf- it's a it's like a sous vide. You know what a sous vide is? Yeah, oh, yeah. You know how they got popular recently? A sous vide used to be like a pot that was always at the same temperature. Recently, then... but shit, sous vide's been like big time for like ten years now or so, hasn't it? I, I mean... know. I know one of the original. I hung out with. I've been to. I got stories I can't tell you about. One of the original sous vide creators in the tech world. Uh, really? Like the first person that came up with an immersion heating system? Yes, like for sale. Like uh, like the first Kickstarter. <laughs> for oh, sale. okay. What's Anovia? It, it was... It was I don't it was like called No, sorry, I don't wanna It might have just been called Sous V or might have been not, I think it was called like Sous V. It was like they even had the original name for it. Okay. But either way, I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about they come out with these devices that have uh that are monitored by computers that keep the temperature at the same area. You know what I mean? Like oh, it's a, it's 170 or... degrees in this chamber. I'm a computer, and I know what what it's set at. So yeah, so I I bought one of these for 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 weed more or less. It's the the Levo two. It looks like a, it looks like a fucking like a cappuccino machine. Wait wait what? Wait, I got another call coming in. Is this what is going on? No, this it's is that... new. Hello, second caller. Nick, stop being a slut and call her back. I could switch. No, what? I could switch between calls now. That was weird. Hello, caller. Caller. Uh, now I don't hear anything here. All right, I hung up on both. Quit being a slut and call her back. Um, did Ramdas just call me? I know who that last caller was. I'm not saying names, though. Look, all right, I'm just going to start talking about this machine that I bought, the Levo 2, and what happened, and how my experience has been. Um, I, I like weed. I'm a big fan of weed, and uh, I've had edibles before. I have had somebody make edibles. Uh, we bought we bought like like a shitload of crappy weed, and this uh, hello color. Hello. Hey, did you hang up? Or did you, what happened there? Because there's like a new no, interface on Google no, Voice. No, died on my end. Oh, it died on your end. Okay. You were telling me about like the oil thing. What the what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> All right, this is this is what it is. Um, it's a it's a machine. It was it was on sale for two hundred and fifty dollars. It's usually like three hundred bucks. Uh, you could put considering those vape pounds are more than that. Okay. Well, yeah, but this this is a, a, it it uh, decarboxinates your your marijuana and it infuses yeah. it into yeah. oil. So it just it sets the temperature for like a little oven more or less. It's like a like a fucking easy bake oven for for weed <laughs> to make edibles. Oh, oh, okay. a weed okay. kettle. There we go. Bizzle in the chat knows what's up. Okay. And um do you, is it you immerse do you immerse it in water like you do with sous vide? No, it's it's weed, weed and oil. Oil. It's an oil infusion. Just oil. Yeah. You could you oh, could put okay. like garlic in olive oil and make like garlic olive oil. I'm getting another this how is this happening? What is this? Hello, caller? Hello, Nick the Rat. Is this caller? I don't know what's going on here. Usually these combine. What do you mean combined? Is there a second caller here? You're the oh, second caller. Buddy. You're the second caller caller. Mm-hmm. Mm. Who's the first caller? Uh, are you are you smoking weed? Uh, I'm smoking tobacco. Oh, have you ever smoked weed? Yes, yes. 
Yes, I have. Do you do you want to know about uh, an edible oil machine? And and my I was working with a guy for the past two weeks. I know him for a couple of years, and he's a good dude. He really stepped up, and as far as like learning a bunch of shit for doing load ins and stuff. But during the shutdowns, he got into the making edibles game, and oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's got amazing, like, uh, caramels and stuff. So good. So good. Do you want to, do you want to give their, are they corporatized? Cause like marijuana is becoming more and more legal. THC is becoming, um, like a federal yeah, but holiday. Is, is it going to be, a, is it going to be a fun anymore? Sorry, net net. Uh, is it what? Is it going to be as fun anymore? It's going to be a spine. What happens is, is marijuana yeah. at the hot topic phase of the honeymoon? What? Caller, what? Is marijuana at the hot topic phase of the honeymoon? Oh, well, everything's at the... Actually, we live in the age... Of everything being at the hot topic level of it. Everything. Fiber. Fiber is at the hot topic level of it currently. The world's falling apart, my friend. Like fiber diet or fiber cable? Both. Mm. Both. Both. Both, I say. Both. 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 Both of them. The fiber cable what. and the fiber diet are contingently being deconstructed by uh, uh, common culture into sugar cubes. I have a synchronicity that happens to deal with a little bit of chaos and a little bit of fiber that I was just reminded of today is a story from a couple of years ago. Can I share it with you? Yes, please. Uh, we were out in South Dakota doing a, an outdoor summer camp, sort of uh, high school and younger's, uh, it's like Beauty and the Beast or some dumb shit. Anyways, opening, the, the night before opening, someone got into one of the racks in the technical booth backstage and removed one of the fiber lines that sent lighting data from the booth to one half of the stage. So when they came in the next day, they couldn't turn on the left side of the fucking stage. And I had forgotten all about this, but even better, I forgot the punchline, which was they ended up finding that fiber cable What's the, what's the punchline? Do you need more fiber cable? Hey, look. Look, everybody. It's very late. I bought I bought this Levo too. I was doing research on like uh, the the best combinations of oils and uh, plant matter and temperatures and time. Caller and honey and honey honey. Mm-hmm. It does make honey. The Levo too. You could infuse honey, but it's not optimal. You want MCT oil, but you want to have MCT eight. It has the best connections for the THC when you decarb it at a. I got the temperatures I've, I've been using here. I just want to roll it with tobacco. That's all yeah, I but I I actually hit a good temp. But the thing is, this oil machine has like a like a, a container and then like a little hole. So I try to tip the oil 
there was extra oil in in the in the machine, and I tried to tip it into the hole, and the my reservoir of where I was capturing most of the oil fell all over the floor. I reminds I, me of a. Uh... I spilt about eighty dollars worth of marijuana and oil on the floor. About eighty bucks. I I gone. There's still there's still a chance to smoke it out of the carpet. I <laughs> not all is lost. I did not sop it up off the floor, and I started to drain it after I sopped it up into a jar, and I was like, "No, nah, I threw it away." <laughs> but. But I tried a little bit from that batch, from the, the combination I did. I did a 230 for 40 minutes to decarb it. And I had 3.5 grams and one fourth cup of MTC oil, eight. And then I infused it at 165 degrees for two and a half hours. And then I knocked it all over the floor. Oh, uh, party foul. <laughs> Oh, man. But I tried a little bit of it, and um, I tried uh, two tablespoons of it I needed to take to uh, feel pretty good for almost the entire day. Oh, like a 24-hour doser. Well, you know, not, not like uh, not like 24 hours. Like the entire waking day, like, you know, like 10 hours, 8 hours. It oh. took about two hours to kick in. Before that, I I, I had different temperatures and and uh, different uh, levels. This was my second batch. I still have one batch of uh, oil and wheat. There's there's a lot of. I feel like a scientist. Five second rule. It was, it was. My floor was slippery. I'll say that. And you I was, could have, you you could have used the carpet as like the blunt wrap. You ever seen those blunts that they took the the tobacco paper and they rolled it in oil and soaked it, and they crammed the middle full of keef and wax, maybe. I think it's like a waxy keef core. It's a little stupid. <laughs> All right, do you, do you partake in marijuana? I have. Yes. You have. What do you partake in now? Do you partake in, wait, tennis? No, no tennis. No tennis. It was, a, it was an attempted physical education class. But when you're just playing with your sister, it's kind of like, meh. Unless she gets stuck in the uh, washing machine. Um Come say what? <laughs> Call, what is your major hobby these days? What is, what is your hobby these days? Uh, well, I work. Work's not a, a hobby. Show. You do I mean, a show. I want to make stickers. You I want do... to make stickers. That, I guess that's not a hobby. Are you an I artist? Have, Are you an artist, Carl? Not a good one. <laughs> It doesn't matter if you're good or not, but what do you do? Do you do, you do uh, digital or is it physical media? Do you dance? Are, are you naked uh, right now? Digital, but I was, I was flipping through photos and somewhere I found a sketch that I did. And I think I know which book it's in. I want to go find it. I want to go take a picture of it because uh, it would be cool to see again. You ever think of a piece of art you did and you're like, that shit was lit. I'm going to go back. I'm going to check it out. Um, yeah. Have you ever lost a piece of art that you thought was lit? I lost a whole fucking hard drive full of uh, tour photos from like the first two years that I was out. After that, that happens, sucks. then you kind of realize that nothing matters. Yeah, getting robbed sucks. Fuck that. Caller? I want to see if I can call that that lady back. What is it? No, we can't do that. Let's um.
It's in the show here. Wait, what are we, what are we talking about? Are we talking about the Levo? <laughs> Billy says. <laughs> Oh, Trey. I'm curious to you, my friend. We got some advertisements. We got to make more money before we end the show. This is a phone call coming. Hello, caller. Yeah, Hello. Hi. You sound small and scrunched down. Tiny. Tiny. The smallest of small. What do I sound like now? Uh, pretty big. Whoa. It's what was that? That was weird. You know, the tri it, so is the sous vide uh, I said the oil and everything infused, and then you cook it. But how long do you? No, cook you put it. it for? You put a little. There's a little container. You could put about eight grams of wheat. I don't like. I. It takes me about. It takes me a little itty bitty weed to smoke to get high. So I don't like spending too much money to make oil. Uh, the 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 container that comes with the machine could hold about. Seven grams well, shit, of weed, which make, is a I lot mean, of money. You, you could make it with alcohol, like uh, I think cheaper, possibly. You, I don't know. Uh, it doesn't bind to alcohol in the same way, from what I've seen. Oil works better for THC. Oh, um, I, I mean that's what I've used, and it's worked pretty potently. Really. I mean, you decarboxylated, you decarboxylated. Decarb I mean, the more pure the, the alcohol you get, the better. Well, yeah, uh, I've used, get, uh, I've put a. If you can Everclear. get Everclear, like, uh, what is it, 190 or whatever, I think it's the highest you can get in Everclear. You don't want to put uh, alcohol into the machine, though, because if there's a fuse or a fire. It'll no, 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 I'm not saying that. You just decarb it and then stick it into a, uh, yeah, for how long? Do a measurement. How long do you keep it in the alcohol? Um, two weeks and you're good. All right. Well, yeah, with oil, uh, it's weeks about two better. hours. Four weeks, you're even better. Oil, oil is uh, like, two you, hours. I mean, you're okay? What's that? Oil is like two hours. Not even. Oh, well, in a sous vide is what you're saying, right? Or no? It's, it's like a sous vide, as in you could program the temperature and the time. Oh, you're talking about the machine that you got. Huh? Yes. Oh, okay. It's called yeah. the, the Levo 2. I've been drinking and uh, partaking in something that might be close to what you're talking about that uh, might have caused me not to understand that before now. Oh. Two hours. That's pretty impressive that for an oil. Damn. Well, you can make butter. I've seen people make butter with cheaper weed that was more potent than what I've had. Oh yeah, but it was it was a lot. Yeah, yeah. It was a lot of weed they threw in there before, and uh, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make. It, I'm trying to make it last. Huh. Do you know? Do you know about no, I, Cal's lavender blossoms? Oh yeah, yeah. He's a. He's a chemist. That guy. In this laboratory, he's got an amazing farm here. So. Oh, now I know where you live. No, I I live in uh, not not I live here. right next <laughs> to you. I live right next to you in Utica. I would love to go to Cal's house. Cal sounds amazing. They had a meet up there, and I missed it. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Biggest meetup I wish I would have not missed. So. <laughs> I would have been like, hey, Cal, can I sleep on your floor? All right, I'm coming. <laughs> can I lay in your lavender? Can I camp bed? out behind your. Uh, he probably has a bed made of lavender blossoms. Probably has a compound made of lavender blossoms. 
Cannonese sneeze. It's amazing. Yeah, so I spilled a whole jar of oil on the floor. It it really upset me. It was sad. But now I'm gonna make more. So because there's like a hack. Because before oh, I'm gonna try to explain this to you. There's a little a canister, like a little. Um, uh, it looks like a a flask, like a little flask that could hold about seven grams of ground up flour. But you could put a so, coffee I, filter in the bottom it of must, it and get more surface it area. It must super, super heat the oil and the uh, flour together, right? Well, yeah. And then it drains out. And it's got like a little timer. It's got a little therm There's thermostat. It's, it's just like a little, it's just a little fucking heat tray. What have you done with it so far? Well, I did two batches. One of the batches I spilt all over. I had to take <laughs> you've established that yeah. the first batch I made I because usually well, with Cal's amazing process I only had to take uh, about two milliliters to get fucking hammered wait did, you, wait what do you mean you got a process from Cal um, the one that I made was not as potent Oh, okay. And I love his, and the one I made wasn't, but then he told me his process, it's more involved, and there's a lot more, uh, a lot more involved. Uh, I'm like doing small batch. I'm doing okay. small batch. So, of course, I'm ready to take more. Uh, with the small batch, the first batch that I made, I took one tablespoon at 11 o'clock, and I felt nothing at midnight so i was like i'll take another one and then at two o'clock i felt nothing so i took <laughs> another one and then uh i think i might have i might have taken either three or four tablespoons and then i woke up at eight o'clock and i was tripping balls i was mm. at eight in the morning it, it finally hit me at eight in the morning but with the second batch that i made with the recent stats that i gave uh i took two tablespoons right away and I felt like I was at the borderline of getting really, really high for a long time and being that way for a pretty long time. Uh, I took it I took mm. it about 9 o'clock, and then at about noon it kicked in till about 4 or 5 o'clock from two okay. tablespoons. It's a... The more, uh, the more liquid uh, concentrate that it is, I found the quicker it... Uh, yeah, the more anything is. The yeah, more... I mean, the, the <laughs> faster it comes on. I mean, like some of the liquids, it comes on in like fifteen minutes or so. Cal's amazing uh, stuff. Uh, two hours, an hour, it, but oh, an hour okay. in. Oof. Okay. But I don't know. And I almost I'm... think that, that. Well, I mean, sometimes it's better and sometimes it's worse. So. He's uh, he's got can... he's got his process down. Which I don't know if I should be saying any of what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm no, saying, it's fine. It's probably okay, but uh, yeah. it's legal in New York now. In Russia, you go to jail. It's legal where Cal is, so if you're talking about that, so that's true too. I got him. Well, <laughs> I got an OZ of flour tonight. Yeah. Uh, How much does that cost? It's like three hundred, right? Uh, Thirty-nine dollars. What? What is this like? Shake sticks, stems? No, it's like legit. Yeah. Are you solid. like you're like in like legal? You're in Holland. I mean, it's like down in the fourteen percent range, but it's like full flower. Oh, well, I like the 20% range, 20% plus. I, I do I do typically. <laughs> the last time I got this for that price, training, day, I'll take like, that. <laughs> for $39, I would throw that whole thing into like two cups of oil. That's what I no, that's how I totally what I'm thinking with it. 
Well, if you could, if That's you have that type of hookup, then yeah, you should definitely get this uh, the Levo too. Whew. It's good. Just don't try to tip it in because you'll knock your oil all over the floor. <laughs> I almost per- picture it being like some sort of like espresso cappuccino machine. It's it's a like it's like a like a one foot tall box, and like a six inch square around it. You throw it in. You click huh. a button. Beep 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 beep. And then you press another. You have to grind, grind the stuff up beforehand. Probably, it's good. To, right? You you don't have to, but it's might be better for it. Yeah. Hell. Hmm. But yeah, it's a. Uh, you don't have to because like, before whenever whenever I try to make oil, the one time that I saw somebody do it, they used a a shitload of crappy weed, which I can't even find crappy weed anymore. And uh, well, that's the it, only reason I bought this stuff. It, it was least. kind of crappy, I guess. Yeah, it was like the lower grade. I, well, I don't think it's like necessarily like that. It's but, not crappy. I mean, it's it's got its uses, yeah. but it's not as strong. It's not as potent. It's not as potent. <laughs> you ever try this Delta Eight? If I go back to like when I was in my youth, like because I'll be old, I'm gonna be. Uh... What's your password to your be, Yahoo uh, email address? I want to be. want to be 50 on Saturday. Happy birthday. Thank you. 50? So. I, I always to, thought you were a 13 year youth. old girl. Fuck. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Diane, hang up on this guy. I'm old. I'm old. I'm old. Old and grizzled. Well, if it Damn makes you, you feel better, I'm 70. Don't help. So. Help desk. Don't help anybody. Um. Good old help desk. <laughs> but... In my youth, there was some flower that was out there that was just awful, like terrible stuff. Might not even been weed. Compared, well, yeah, it probably, yeah, I wouldn't doubt some of it probably wasn't. You ever hear this Delta but Eight stuff? A lot of times, it, what it was is stuff that was flowers that were packed together before they were even like. It was like, no, just jam them together. They're wet. I don't, we don't give a crap. You can just be happy. Send them out. You, be, you could be smoking so, like, like cotton. It's probably. <laughs> but if we get like a meld and mildew and stuff. Yeah. So you knew what that was when you came across it. So that stuff was probably like that decarbing and. Do whatever the hell is probably about the only process that would make something like that, you know, viable. <laughs> does, does Bizzle in the chat smoke? I'm totally doxing Bizzle now. Because caller, you you don't seem like a huge uh, marijuana fan. You seem more like of a of a drinker fan. You're like, I like to drink. No, the first love was the what? It, what did you call it? Have you ever tried MDMA? Have you ever tried mushrooms? Have you ever uh, had psychedelics? Uh, uh, I've had multiple psychedelics over my. Here. Have you had uh, acid? Yeah, I have. I've never had acid. Uh, can you really? compare acid to mushrooms? Uh, depends. Because um, mushrooms were uh, I hear acid more mellow yeah. uh, experience. But 
freeze dried mushrooms for some reason. There was a freeze dried mushroom like uh, movement that was out there for a while. They were exponentially like more powerful than regular mushrooms. And it was almost close to acid like. Uh, but have you ever acid. tried acid? Yeah, no, I have. Cause, okay, because you're saying uh, acid like. Okay. If you went to like uh, uh, the Grateful Dead concerts, because they had that, that like big, huge following back, you know, in the like. Deadheads. I'm old. It, which I, I've already said, I'm old. So, but that was the place to go get it. I mean, even in the parking lot of what, wherever the hell they were playing. Especially if you could get into the parking lot without having to pay, because that happened in some areas, but a lot of places you had to pay. Uh, you could get in and then buy stuff from them and then leave or whatever. Because <laughs> there was like a sect of people that you followed them everywhere. Stuff, that you got to like pay the, for the show first, bro, and then you can come in. No, yeah. I, yep, and they, they were selling, I mean, you know, they were, it was people that traveled with that band and you knew it was like kind of le like legit because they didn't want everybody to like uh, freak out and have bad trips or whatever. It was bad acid. So bad acid did not exist in those circles. And uh, that was probably the best places to get on. And it was intense. It was, yeah. Oh man, I remember most... pitching intense. <clears throat> Whoa. Hello. What the hell was that? Can you hear me now? Did you just break through the stream? I did. How'd you do so that? So I have a, uh, well, I wanted to uh, chime in. On... You, you asked the question what's the difference between mushrooms and LSD? Oh, okay. You have an I can, I can. I can answer. Yeah, yeah. So mushrooms are much more uh, of a body high. You can you can actually fall asleep on mushrooms if you want. Uh, LSD. So LSD is like the caffeine. A little bit different. It's like the caffeine yeah. version of it. Yeah, if you get really some good tabs, if you really trip hard, like you're gonna, you gotta be ready for. Uh, just like shifting around different dimensions. All right. Well, it, uh, it's, it's not for the, not for beginners. I start with the mushrooms. A mushroom high to me is a, it's, it's kind of like a fluid. There's like a, 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 a breathing to it. There's a breathing. I see a breathing. It's very or like an organic type of motion. Uh, it comes in and out. It's, it can, does, have you ever tried? Caller? Did you hang up on me? I didn't hang up on me. Yeah, yeah. No, have you're you ever, right. Have it's you ever done more of a body hot? Have you ever tried mushrooms? Yeah. And is what I'm saying like it's like a breathing organic type of vibe? Is that, does that sound? That is accurate. Yes, definitely. How and I would is, say LSD is more of a psychological, like you just you, you just turned into you just lost your 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 marble, you just fell out of your tree type of trip. You fell out of your yeah, tree. Yeah, mushrooms are a lot yeah, start with the mushrooms. Start with the psilocybin. But yeah, you described it pretty well. Um yeah. I've <laughs> seen I've seen things Definitely. on I've seen trains go through uh the streets of Brooklyn on mushrooms and I've laughed at them. Because they were hysterical. Why is there a train going through the football field at my high school? <laughs> that's hilarious. All right, that's kind of that's a cool trip. I and, remember one time uh, on acid, uh, some friends of mine decided, as you know, we were like dumb teenagers. <clears throat> we decided, you know, we we buy a bunch of fucking cards of eggs. We just started egging the local businesses, and we all lived near downtown. Oh, somebody had a so, pre uh, had a pre. They were they were programmed to do that. It wasn't you, was it? 
You didn't say let's get some eggs and go egg this place. No, it was, no, it was a, friend, a friend of mine. Uh, it was his idea. Yeah, because yeah. he had this idea before he did acid. He was like, I want to go egg this place. And then everybody's on acid. Probably. And then he he's like, I'll go fucking buy some eggs. And then y'all did it. And it probably looked like, what did, did it look like you were egging a place or did it look like? Oh, uh, well, here's the funny part, man. Yeah, it, it got a little crazier than that. It, uh, it, we, we egged a couple, a few places, you know, a couple, and this is in downtown, you know, a couple, couple of buildings, you know, right on their like glass windows. So one of the two, a couple of, I think there was a bingo hall that we fucking egged and it was still open. There, there were people like old people inside playing bingo. They can, that's a great idea. Egg just, a place filled yeah. with old people. They we can't just, chase yeah, you. Yeah, we just launched the fucking eggs right at the windows and just freaked them out. And, and here's what happened next, right? All right, every we're all tripping, right? And and we find ourselves like throwing eggs, the last of our eggs. I don't know. Somehow we still got like three cartons. Uh, and we find ourselves like throwing them at this condo, this condo building, and we're standing on a street corner. All of a sudden, fucking two cop cars roll up. And we got we got the egg cards sitting uh, behind. You, you remember those old little newspaper stands? Yeah. Back when people bought newspapers. Uh, yeah, we had them sitting like behind behind those things, like on the I don't know, like eye level visible. <laughs> and uh, and these cops are all like, "Yeah, yeah, what are you, what are you guys doing here? Uh, we got to." And we told them, uh, well, "We're just waiting uh, for a friend to pick us up to go to a party." He told us to meet us on this corner. And the cops are all like, oh, okay. You know, we got a disturbance call around here. Somebody was lighting off fireworks or something. <laughs> and, and, and eggs, I'm, fireworks, same uh, shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking tripping balls, dude. I, I fucking, I'm like, no, I don't even have a lighter. And then I go, like, then my brain clicks. And for some reason, I said this out loud. I was like, oh, I do have a book of match. <gasps> And the whole time, the, this one cop who's uh, asking us questions, his flashlight is like underneath his uh, fucking arm, like his armpit, you know, and, yeah. it's, and it's shining right on the cartons of eggs behind the behind the newspaper stand thing. And I'm tripping balls. So did they you, end up being like, all right, night? all right. And they just left. They just left? <laughs> Yeah, nobody went to jail that night. Do you remember the uh, power of LSD? Do you remember Officer McMahon? They're here, actually, in the sewer right now. Uh, Officer McMahon, come here. Wait. Oh, he, he just. Uh... We'll be back next week with more Nick the Rat Radio. Thank you for having a lovely week. And continue to have um, more more leakage, more lovely leakages. Good night. Wait, what is this? Wait, wait, uh, wait, hold on one sec. We have one more song here. Uh, thanks for <laughs> thanks for calling in. Thanks for letting me let you call it you and. Thank you for letting for the let's and the we're nots. We're going to listen to Odyssey with Kaleido. We'll be back next week with more Nick the Rat.
if I may. A toast to our host. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Look at all these kids. Hey! Oh, you again, huh? That wasn't very nice. Now you just gotta leave. I'll tell you when the fuck we leave, all right? Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Go watch the bites, man. Now you just can't leave.